Hi guys, today we decided to shoot seven spring makeup trends that you can actually wear. Ashley is joining us today to help me out because I don't want to mess this video up. Yay! The first look is an eyeliner. We're just making it bolder. This season, bold colors are all the rage and to create a really cool look, you really only need to use the eyeliner. The rest can be very toned down. If you have darker skin, you can start with a white liner and layer a bold color on top for brighter results or you can use pastel color eyeliner. The next look that I really wanted to try and recreate is the rainbow eyeshadow. We picked two liners for the rainbow eye. Put the darkest closest to the lash line. To give this eye makeup a little more dimension and depth, we decided to add a little bit of a shadow in the crease. You can choose one of the colors of the eyeliner. Otherwise, if you don't want to get too complicated with the shadow, you can just rock two really cool colors for an eyeliner and you get that rainbow effect. we are transitioning to the monochrome look, which is probably my favorite trend just because it requires so little work for blending and matching colors. When using one color on the lid, you wanna start by applying it by the lash line with a flat eyeshadow brush or fingers if you're like me, hey. Using an empty brush, blend the color up towards the crease and then create a soft edge. you can get this look by using only one product on multiple features so if you have a blush that you like you can use that on your cheeks and eyelids and then all we added was highlight just to bring a little more dimension to the face and that's it the next look that we are doing here is the pastel look we decided to go for a lavender shade just because that color would really make my eyes pop. We are using Ashley's favorite, the Max Kitsch Mask. These type of eyeshadows can be messy, so something that I like to do is to tap it into the lid from the jar and start building on top of that. And look at this look, I feel like a princess. Don't forget to clean up any fallout with the makeup wipe because otherwise you're just gonna look like a pastel disco ball. From the lavender look, we decided to transition into the glitter eyeshadow. You can put it on top of an eyeshadow or you can just use glitter on its own. Just make sure that you use a primer on your lids. You'll give the glitter something to stick to spray a setting spray to make sure that it lasts all night before you apply the glitter. If you are using eyeshadow before you put the glitter, that will help to really intensify or tint the color of the glitter. Here we just intensified the lavender with a little darker purple and then we added the glitter. The next look that is super easy to do is the glossy eye with a little pop on the lips. We used my absolute favorite product this time and it's the Chanel Balm Essential. It's the perfect product that creates the glossy eye without it being too sticky or move around on your face. For the lips, Ashley introduced me to this amazing product by NYX and this is the Powder Puff Lippy, which is basically like a matte lipstick and it has such beautiful colors. Our last but not least is again playing on this whole one product full face situation that I absolutely love. And this is the full face New Tones. This is basically using very neutral, taupey colors to apply on the eyelids, for the blush, and for the lips. Here I used, again, the Chanel stick. I'm going to link everything in the description box. You literally don't need anything else besides mascara. 
and this is it you guys this is the seven spring makeup trends that you can actually wear i hope you enjoy it i hope you try it let me know what look is your favorite and send me your selfies love you